All right, today's the day we've been waiting for. We are going on safari. We got three big safari vans here. So fun. So we're gonna have room to spread out. <laughs> Can we all? Well, we're all here. I just I literally. It's a bumpy ride. Solo and I have the four youngest, and Nyan Nyan's up here with the driver. She's helping him drive. <laughs> Giving him some co-pilot assistance. Wilson said he's, she's the co-pilot. Huh? I'm like, I'm glad, I'm glad she's the co-pilot, not the main one. <laughs> we have a lot of space in these vans, which is really nice. Uh, don't yell at me about my seatbelt there, lower belt. Yes. Okay, so there's three vans. The other one has Luke, Jill, Kenya, Link, and their kids. And Tori and Micah are with them. And then the other one has Judah, Katie, Luca, Bell, Noel and Eli. So I sent a camera over to that band too because I want to. I don't want to miss some of their reactions. That's the only hard no, thing sorry. about being such a big family is that sometimes we're not all able to be together. But we're gonna have a good time. This is an epic adventure to do. If you go to Kenya, you gotta do a safari, and the tent safaris is what we're doing. It's so much fun. It's very, very memorable. Yay! We came down to the vans at 7, but we didn't really leave till about 7.30. Can I die? Can I die? Can I die? Roger. safaris this time and I got to tell you this is the nicest travel vans we've ever been in by far roomy I can tell this roof pops up so we're gonna have an epic experience uh, just being out on the Mara being able to stand up and see everything uh, we've been in a lot of different vans and usually they're more way more cramped than this this is a high view big nice windows Bountiful Safaris, they, they do good with families, but they also do uh, a great job. Even if you're just a single person, they'll take you on the safari and give you the vacation of your life. <laughs> Plus, the tour guide, I can already tell the tour guide makes it. <laughs> tour guides are the most important part because they're full of wisdom, tell you about all the things you need to know. <laughs> all the interesting details about the animals, they know where to find them. Uh, so that you can see all the things. It's always a goal to see the big five. I don't know, we don't always see all five. The leopards are their hardest to me, I think, sometimes. Mm -hmm. What are the big five? You should ask our wonderful tour guide, Wilson, here. He'll be happy to tell you. He, he, he just said uh, about the leopard. That is one of them. Yeah. yeah. Elephant. Yep. Buffalo. Lion. The rhino. Lion and rhino. That is the big five. Are we going to see a white rhino? Mm, not no. <laughs> okay. <South. laughs> and uh, normally we have the black rhino in the south, yeah. right? But uh, very rare. Okay. Because the population in Mara uh, is very low. Yeah. And uh, the park is very big. Yes. So when is the great migration? We are almost starting the migration of June. In June, so we might see a little of the beginning of it. Mm, I think uh, right now it's early. Okay. But I know we are not very far from the border, but it depends on the weather. So since it's been raining a lot, yeah, they may I wait a little. There yesterday. Oh. But not yet. Okay. Very generally, June to. June, July, August, maybe early September. Okay. I have gotten to do one safari before during the Great Migration and it is crazy. It's, it's, it's a very good experience. It's a good experience. But when the Great Migration is everywhere. Animals. Animals. Yeah. So many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 
this would even be a great honeymoon experience. I'm gonna link Bountiful Safaris information down below. If you're Kenyan wanting to go home, visit your homeland. Um, if you are Kenyan living here, if you're a foreigner, it's a great option for you. And they really do make it easy and help you along the way, help you um, plan your whole trip. That's what they did for us. So let's talk to the CEO, Esther, a lot of times, and she really helped us a lot, especially since there've been rains here and we wanted to make sure we get the full experience and we can find the right place for our unique large group. <laughs> so it's been wonderful working with them. Well, first up is at the Great Rift Valley view. There isn't much of a view because of the fog, but um, trust me, behind those clouds, it's absolutely stunning. So maybe we might be able to capture some on our way back, but it is really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, maybe we can stop on our way back. Mm -hmm. We're drinking some chai at the chai stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it. <laughs> I'm drinking someone's leftovers they didn't want. No masala. No masala, yeah, it's just tea and milk. <laughs> yeah. I like <laughs> Are they warm? <laughs> So we're at the gate of the Maasai Mara and um, there's a bunch of Maasai women that come and try to sell you stuff when you're waiting for your husband to pay for the park fees. They were all asking me how many children I have and when I said they could not believe it. They kept asking Made if I was lying <laughs> it was the truth. And they're like, no twins? I mean, they just couldn't believe it. They, so they pulled over a lady that had seven. That was the most they could find. And then just asking me all these questions. They asked me all the kids' names. When they asked the girls, I always give them their Swahili names. Yeah, so then they were so excited and so sweet. They gave the four in here a gift. You want to show what they gave? Solo ended up giving them money later, but they just wanted to give it to them for free. Isn't that sweet? I love it. You guys want to show what you got? Mom. We're so hot in here waiting. Oh, that's so cool. And you guys Mom. each got a Mom, bracelet. Yeah, those are just mosquito bites. <laughs> car over there is waiting patiently so we got our park passes already solo said he was showing a family picture to show like we're all citizens here <laughs> at least all the kids and um, they also couldn't believe there were 11 they started yelling and called over <laughs> a bunch of people to see the picture so we're a freak show here <laughs> Just like at home. I don't mind. Uh, we're proud of these kids. And everybody says, wow, you are blessed. You are so blessed. You're so blessed. We're like, yes, we are. <laughs> oh, you got a necklace? It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, we're in the park now. It's a wild road. We're racing to lunch. <laughs> oh, good job. Yay. <laughs> oh, he's backing up for us. The kids saw it. Like, ah! <laughs> wow. wow. Now that's the real deal right there. <laughs> the giraffe is the one which is welcoming us. Yes. yes. Thank you, giraffe. <laughs> Thank you. Asante son. <laughs> this is some of the evidence of the flooding. That's yeah. This was one of those areas I think that was hard to pass. We're still on our way to We're the tent, close. but we pulled over because we found lions already, which Wilson said it's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good sign. 
We can get past the rocks. These guys already saw. Yeah, right under the tree, Hope. Oh, I see them! Yeah, that's that same. Just chilling. Do you see the lions? Seth, do you see them? Do you see them? Yeah. Yeah, that little tree. Yeah, oh, she sees them. I see that. Oh, her mouth came wide open. Under that tree, did you see them? To like. She's out. <laughs> we made it to our campsite resort right before lunch ends. I forgot to show you the buffet. I was in a hurry to eat. <laughs> we were very hungry. It was after three. They stopped serving lunch at 2 30, but they knew where we were coming. Anyway, we're in the tents and they're going to add a few beds for us because we ha needed five for our family with Made. Um, but we need some extra beds added, including this room. Let me show you. It does have a door, which some of them have had a zipper that we've stayed at. But it is tent walls. And it is so lovely. A little desk area, a little sitting area, a fan. Uh, thank you, Jesus, which means electricity. A beautiful deck. Look at that chair. The girls next door already saw a monkey from their deck. And then we have a king size bed. So they're gonna add a bed in here. A bunch of our tents have single beds with a, <laughs> are you saying hi? Peace is staying with us. But a bunch of them have single beds, like so three single beds in one, or we're adding the third. So they have mosquito nets, which is great. Told us not to keep any food in our tents because of the monkeys. So Made is staying Oh, next door are Belle and Katie and Destiny. And then Made is with Hope and Noelle. Judah, Micah, and Seth are together. And then Luca, Eli, and Tori. But Tori may change with Noelle. We'll see who would rather stay with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's one of the other rooms, the twins. But they're going to add another twin in here. Luca is half naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you him. <laughs> and we just switched out Micah. Um, Who would we switch out? Micah and Tori. No, they don't have a gym here. <laughs> uh, they have a pool. We can all hear you. It's a tent. <laughs> He's singing in the shower. Look how pretty. Okay, Tori, you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> So pretty. We have an odd number of boys and girls, which is a challenge. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Man, I almost forgot the most important part of this tour. The bathroom. Oh, they gave us an umbrella. <laughs> it's funny, not funny. They've been having way too much rain here. Okay, here is the beautiful bathroom. This is just separated by a curtain. We got, looks like we've got a safe. Some extra bedding, an extra duvet, a blow dryer, a mirror, cute sink, and there's a toilet behind here. It's very nice. With a little dupe, uh, what's that called? Bidet, <laughs> bidet hose. And what's in here, Peace? Did you find it? And then a really nice shower. This is definitely what we call glamping. Judah and Katie already found the big chair on their, <laughs> on Judah's deck. <laughs> and it looks like the electric fence is just, just beyond, just right there. <laughs> like the drive <laughs> pizza how did you like the drive she slept a lot Safari. did you see the yeah. giraffes yeah did you see the elephants yeah did you see no, lions 
Did you see lions? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go so many times. We're gonna go till you're tired of it, huh? In half an hour. Did you see lions, peace? Did you see lions? <laughs> Are you guys having fun? Relaxing? Yeah? What's that? Oh, I hear something. Oh, and the, oh, you did tell him about the electric fence. We probably can see animals on the other side of us here. Okay, we're on our first drive tonight, the evening drive. Can you feel the experience with me? Uh, we got Wilson who's going to find us some good animals. Wilson's yes. the best driver. If you yes. if you book with Bountiful Safaris, you need to ask for Wilson. Yes. Although Luke and Jill will tell you, Paul, don't believe him. Wilson's the best. Judah might tell you, Ernest. They're all good. Oh, look, there's <laughs> a warthog. Well, yeah. <laughs> They're all very good, but we're gonna see some skills tonight. We're gonna find some good animals. You know, this the time, sunset drive. This time around, the grass is very tall. Yeah. So it might we might have to. <laughs> They might be harder to see things, right? No, he said they, the lions don't like the wet grass, tall grass, so they come out into the road. Oh. So it might be easier to see. Might be easier to see things. Yes. Well, this is van number three, I think. We're van number one. Oh, actually. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's my core. I'm, I'm a little short for it. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I see an elephant over there. Is an elephant? Oh, there is an elephant. The bees are just oh, like that, none that. in the world. <laughs> like none in the world. Oh, there goes the war. The horns are just so beautiful. What a beautiful creature. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? That's a big old boy. That's a big boy. He's just sleeping there for all of us to observe. <laughs> nice. So I think it's done now. You see that lion there? Nice. Oh, <laughs> Don't wake him up. Did you like the lion? Yeah. Because it would be kind of mean. Do you have a zoom? The king, because I just want to sleep. <laughs> Thumbnail. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Noel, you want to go? It's Aslan. We're the only ones left now. <laughs> We're just watching him breathe. Mom, it looks like it's that lion came right by Hope and Destiny's window and they stuck their heads out. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I shut that window so fast. We've waited here for a while and now there's like, Solo said that he sees about six of them out in the field that are headed our way. So it's a whole pride. They're coming. This is the lion safari. <laughs> is it really six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, I see five. No, and the one out there, the male. The male sleeping, oh, you see his head? Yeah. I see one over there. See the camouflage is so easy. I see one over there. So these are all the... the the babies. Oh, yeah. the, baby, the, the mamas are patrolling, looking for their babies. That little roar. Oh man, that's weird. It's like a super. They heard her. Look at those are the babies. Look, peace. Those are the babies. That's a photo. Close to us. Hope keep your head Get in. Get your hand and your head in <laughs> the baby. You don't want a baby to think you're a snack.
a.m. Uh, and it sets in Kenya at 6.30 p.m. It is a... Oh, look at that. It's a... Uh, it's a small variation of about 20 to 30 minutes year round, but not, not much, yeah. Yeah, not but, like our variation. Yeah. <laughs> at home right now, it's probably setting at 9.30. Um, and it's because we're on the equator. So, little... Is that a geography year. lesson or a science, science lesson for you? It's just uh, something I always have to get used to, especially if we left the States and it was setting late. <laughs> it seems so early here for a while. But man, it's very predictable for people. My nephew's in Canada right now trying to get used to it setting at 10. It's so different. But it does make life very predictable for people. I, I would love that predictability, I think. <laughs> but change is good too. Seth's sleeping. He's just sleeping. Is Hope sleeping? No. Hope is looking. <laughs> They've already spotted a bunch of animals this morning. Yeah. You guys have good eyes. One of you saw the they giraffes. Have, they have young eyes. <laughs> yeah, giraffes first. Best view. I love those trees. Look at the sunrise, guys. Wow. We saw it go down. We're seeing it come back up. <laughs> Oh, Wilson's brave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm impressed. Wow, 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 okay, so. Give him a big hello. Uh, they're trying to go through. That's our kids. Luke and Jill have take their van is taking off another direction to try to find animals. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> we open our roof so we can get the good views now. It's really fun standing there when we're driving. It's a good arm workout when you're holding on. <laughs> this is worse than the mud. It's hard to, easy to get stuck. Yeah. We're sliding and we're backing up. I noticed he stuck this in the car this morning. So today we hope to see cheetah. We always want to see lions. Elephants up close. Giraffe up close, buffalo maybe up close. We've seen them from a distance. There's a buffalo in the grass. He's really close to us. But he's laying down, so. Hey, dude. So Wilson said that sometimes the males get off on their own. That's when they're the most aggressive. Yeah. They know they're alone in there. You don't want to get out of the car right now. <laughs> We're back in a real muddy. <laughs> so the buffalo by himself is also very vulnerable to a pride of lions because they'll surround him when he's by himself and then he doesn't have any defense except his own aggression which wouldn't stand up against a pride of lions. Let me tell you, this is the best homeschool lesson you could ever get. Seen it in real life. A McD. Mickey D. Yeah. Oh, and they're over here too. <laughs> on top of it. So to find the animals, first of all, he knows like there's a lot of impala around. There's probably not lion unless they're going to get ambushed oh, from a guys. tree. Oh, do you see the hot air balloon out there? Okay, guys. Did you see mm -hmm. this? That's Tanzania. Why? 
guys, right here. He doesn't need on this side. He's always looking for animal prints. So he'll, he'll even slow down and stop to look at an animal print. And of course, he has his radio too, so that helps. That's how a lot of bands end up in one spot. So, so this is Serengeti. Tan Tanzania. Tanzania. We're on the Tanzania side. <laughs> Lion Prince. Yeah. We pulled over for some prints too. For what? For prints. We're waiting for the other van so we can get a picture, but these guys want to scan the area before we get out <laughs> because it's morning. This and then there's our lion print too. Yeah. They just don't know where he went. But they think he's there clear. We like to live life on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Take our toddlers out on the Maasai Mara on foot. Just a we regular should leave, We should leave the toddlers Thursday. in. <laughs> for, you, for you to see. If Wilson says it's fine, then it's fine. Jeez, because they're in a different country than we are. <laughs> We're, we're in two different countries. It says, do not enter Tanzania. <laughs> There's a lot of animal prints all over. Yeah, they see lion earlier, so I know. That's, that's what they made him want nervous. They wanted to scan all around. <laughs> <laughs> Solo hasn't stopped scanning. Yes. We're not in Kenya anymore. Did, Tori, Tori and Micah, did you hear? There's lion. They found lion prints. We, we saw no, leopard we saw, prints. No, right here, right around here. That's why he keeps scanning oh, yeah. around. So if we say run, you run. What? I just can't be the slowest. My, my rule is you can't be the slowest in the group. And I'm not, so. Nor I. Well, Grab a child and run. So this is Kenya. Oh, of course, of course, he's barefoot. This is Tanzania. TZ on this side. KE on that side. What's this side? You hope. You yes, just want the stories to tell? And he said he's probably around here. Oh, there's a leopard? Oh. Yeah, but they never attack. But no, I know. But they don't like to be... No, we were It'd look. be fun to see a leopard, though. Noelle's decided to ride with us. You like that view, Noel? Is it a good view up there? Yeah. So I think it was determined that um, there was a big group of trees nearby that there was probably a leopard in there because that was the prince that they saw. But it would have been impossible to find. You can't drive in that in that bush. Leopards are hard to see here. Yeah, I've seen them once or twice. There's hot air balloons out there. Some people book a hot air balloon experience. I think that would be really cool to do like in the great migration season when the ground is covered with animals. <laughs> but the views I'm sure are spectacular. Yeah, two of them. Uh, can I stand up? Yeah, you can stand Finally, up. Yeah. the elephant. We've seen a lot from a distance, but... They're magnificent creatures. Oh, is he a baby one? Yeah, there's a little one. He's not too much of a baby, but a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of them on that side too. I'll see. And I see a buffalo in front too. A lone buffalo. More elephants and a buffalo. The, there's a buffalo walking. Pretty cool, huh? This is the buffalo. Probably hard to see with the sun in the background, but they're right here. Real close. I mean, the, the scenery, the ostrich. I don't know that the camera ever does it justice. No, it doesn't. You gotta come here yourself, guys. Oh, 
so big. in a bush breakfast experience. Actually, Luke and Jill and their kids are doing that this morning too, so if you wanna see what it's like up close, I'm sure they'll vlog it. <laughs> you can check out their channel. I I think we've done it. Have you done it? I've done it one time, a long time ago. I've done it Okay. It's kind of fun to eat breakfast out in the wilderness, out on the plains in this case. Sometimes, sometimes it's by a group of trees, it's a good experience. And there's a lion again. Several of them up there on the hill. <laughs> She's so pretty. Hmm? She makes me miss Gable. Do you see the baby lion? The little baby. It's a little baby lion. 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 Spotted it. Someone has good eyes. Because he's laying down. Oh, the giraffe guys. But that's when they the fighting the men. They stand on the ground to to swing the neck. Yeah. Oh, that's a fighting position. Okay, we're in the dining tent. That's our table. I'm gonna show you the food quick. We're at late for breakfast actually, so it's a good time to show you. It's not too crowded. Pastries. Fruit. Fried ox kidney. <laughs> That's interesting. Pork sausage. Looks like bacon. Maybe because fried cabbage. Oh yeah, I have this pot at home. Mushrooms, fried mushrooms, pancakes, Ooh. poor rice. Good morning. Good morning. The, the English baked beans. Good morning. Eggs. Oh, this looks good. So they'll do omelets with all those toppings. There's some potatoes, sweet potatoes. And then a juice bar, homemade watermelon juice, pineapple, and orange. Some yogurts in there. Katie and I are getting omelets. <laughs> okay, my, my plate, my eyes are probably bigger than my stomach. <laughs> Oh, look at all the mongoose. Is that what they are? Those are not mongoose. What are they? I don't know. Oh, look at that! Oh, there's so many! Hope, they're over there. Yeah. They're out over there. They're right by the hippos. Right over there. Oh my goodness. I okay. can see. Oh. Are I they coming? Are they trying to come this way? That'd be cool. 
And this is what we'll be doing today. Oh, this is so pretty. It is so pretty. Look, look, look. This is for like the And then I actually only ate two. Because I was very hungry. Look at this lunch. It is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Chicken lollipops. They're called. Oh, and that fish. I found this, so I decided to eat it first. Oh, yum. What was the best part? I got ice. Did you find them? Yeah, they're what, there. Were you lucky? They are I saw, I saw a croc, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's so just so for you. <laughs> So we are at the camp where we're staying at and there's a river, it's the bank of the Mara River and there's a bunch of hippos there, as you can tell, and uh, crocs sunbathing. You hear the hippos in the morning and at night on that, oh man he's a big guy right there. <laughs> This is the Mara River. If you ever watch the Great Migration, this is the Great River they cross from Serengeti on the other side to Masai Mara. And you can see crocs right there. She's a big mama, huh? Mom? Are they attacking you? Yes. Did you see what Seth was just doing? He just jumped belly flop straight over my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's another. After we got back like 8.30 or 9, we ate breakfast. So from 10.30 to 1 or so, we were at the pool, of course. You didn't need footage of my kids swimming. That's all they do when they're around the pool. They cried when we left. We went to lunch, it was amazing. And then a lot of people walked around, actually laid down. I was tired. And now it is about 3.30. We're meeting our drivers at 3.30 for our evening drive. And we're going to try to find cheetahs, which tend to be on the camp we, near the camp we stayed at last time, which is a long drive. It's like an hour and a half through hard roads. So we'll be exhausted after this one, but um, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully we see some good stuff. And at least they're getting their energy out before we get back in a car. This is what I've been waiting for. Close, close up of giraffe. Look at how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I count eleven. Eleven is my number right now. This is a gorgeous. Can we go shake hands? <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful view. Yeah. It's more than that, Sarah. There are more down there. Oh, yeah, there are. Oh, look at how majestic. Oh, they're so pretty. I wish they'd give us a show and run. <laughs> My favorite is watching the kids enjoy it, though. This is just spectacular. <laughs> you gotta trust me, it's better in person. It's a lot better. You gotta come on safari. I don't think they want your food, Seth. <laughs> Oh, that's a male. <laughs> uh, did you see him lift his uh, leg up a little? No. Yeah, I did that. He went in a defensive uh, oh. stand. You don't want to be kicked by one of these guys. Yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, he's big. Wow. He is wow. Giant. He is. He's a giant. Dad, can I stand up? You like standing up while driving? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, can I stand up? No. When we stop, you can. So the question is, is the bridge good? And I think the verdict is, it is not. Dad, 
Yeah, there's giraffes out there. Looks like it's a no-go. I could go try it out and let you know. <laughs> Where? Oh. So that's the situation we're dealing with here. From all these rains. There's the Mara River, which is right behind our tents. <laughs> we did this this morning, didn't we? <laughs> no, we didn't do this. at our window. Okay, we've come to a lookout mountain. Our guides surveyed the area before we got out. The view is like none other. Not only is it spectacular that way, but wow. We saw a kill almost from a distance, but we weren't quite sure. The rain's coming again tonight. Wow. No, stay out here. It's pretty cool. Proof of life. Epic half tailed elephant. Okay, it's evening time. We're waiting for dinner to be served. There's a huge bonfire. What's that? People everywhere. Those guys are sitting chatting. <laughs> It's the next morning. We ate breakfast at 6.30. I had to get up before six, pack up. Now we're in the cars, it's a little after seven. Oh, it's 7.40. We're supposed to be here at seven. Yeah. <laughs> it was, took us a while to gather everybody and load up. Oh, and check out. Check out process took way longer than needed. Yeah, so we're headed out of the park, um, but we have a little extra time. We're hoping to find cheetahs, maybe. And we're all kind of shoved into two vans because one of the vans, before we get to the park entrance, um, Judah and Katie are getting a bush breakfast this morning, so that's nice. Uh, so they get a van to themselves, <laughs> so the rest of us have to squeeze in the other two. Just till we get to the park entrance, so just on the, just in, on the interior, on the safari, yeah. So we're leaving. Destiny, you wanted to stay? Were you one of them that wanted to stay here? Yes. I want to be here for Dad Kenya. Well, I actually have a question about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So Judah and Katie are leaving after us, and then they're going to the bush breakfast. Uh -huh. Then are we going to have to wait at the gate for a while? No, we, we'll, we'll probably on meet a safari up. Drive. Yeah, we'll go on a safari drive. And so we'll see animals along the way. Thank you. One of us might have to wait for the other, but it won't be long. But we'll meet up there. So hopefully we'll see new things. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for supporting. Hi guys. Yeah. Did you see it, please? <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, these windows are so nice. It looks like there's our other van is stuck. <laughs> these guys are really, really good at recognizing what where to go and where not to go to not get stuck. But he passed somebody else who kind of pushed him into a bad area and that's what got him stuck. <laughs> Poor guy. It's good we're traveling together though. It helps when you have somebody else. So we do have a rope in here. Like a big, what do you call it? A strap. We have a pulling toe strap. I will say even with the rains, we weren't sure what kind of safari we'd have. Even with the rains, it has been really good. We've seen a lot. Um, despite when you have rains like this, you can't go in all the little off roads. And um, we still have been able to see a lot. So if you would go on the little off-roads, you might see more cheetah and leopard and stuff. <laughs> it hasn't been bad at all. Uh, we wonder, because a lot of roads are closed, but we, but we were, we're still able to have a really good safari. I personally think three nights is ideal. Not too long, not too short, uh, especially with a family, which is how we've always, mostly always done it. Uh, we did two nights this time, which was perfect for our budget and the amount of time we had. But if you're booking one, I do recommend at least three nights. That's my recommendation. The experience can feel a little bit like I, what I imagine a cruise feels help. like. I told Wilson, any help you need, let me know. I told Luke and Jill that too, and they've been on a lot of cruises. They said it's similar because you just keep eating like and to, eating. Yeah. <laughs> the food was very good here. We were told the food wasn't the best at the camp we went to. It was good, but not. It was okay, but not like the best compared to the other one, but we liked it way more than the last one we went to, so maybe it was more for American taste buds. Oh, well, we got Nya Nya out on the, on the Mara. The whole reason we're off-road is because this massive semi got stuck and it's blocking the whole road. <laughs> do you get nervous when you get out? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do use the term road lightly. You saw some of that footage. Solo's the lookout guy. Yes. <laughs> Watch for lions. Are you a lookout too? You're on lookout? Get, get in, Dad, get in, there's animals. And of course, Luca. Oh, and Belle. Oh, maybe they had to get out because of pulling. They all want to get out too. No, there are some hyenas out It takes too long to get them back in. hyenas are gazelle. Like the lions in and out. I see another hyena. Well, I have a minute. <laughs> I'll tell you a few things we did not see on this trip. We only saw zebra outside of the park. They live here all the time with the Maasai and some of the cows around there. I don't think they belong to anybody. They just kind of stay. But the, we saw a few wildebeest too. But most of the wildebeest I think are Tanzania still. They haven't started migrating because the rains have been so prolific. The grass is really good there. They don't have a reason to move yet. So normally in May, we would see some of the beginning of the Great Migration. Oh, look at all of them running over there. Hopefully they're not running away from something. There's a bunch of topi running. We also haven't seen baboons, which is interesting to me. I'm not sure why. I need to ask Wilson about that. Um, because usually we see a lot of those. There were five brother cheetahs that we saw saw last time. We filmed them killing a zebra. We got him. <laughs> um, those five brothers, one was impaled by an, impaled by an Impala. <laughs> one died mysteriously. They found him dead. They don't know why. And then one was chased away by the brothers. And so there's only two of them left. So it's not quite as easy to just find those brothers and see them kill something like it was five years ago. Um, that was just a unique time that we happened to catch. So we haven't. We're hoping to see them. They're closer to the entrance of the park. A lot of cheetah are. So we're hoping to see them on our way out today. And then leopards are hard to find. He told us it's been a while since he's seen one, especially with the rains, because you can't do the interior roads. So we didn't see a rhino yet this time. I don't think. So we'll see. Everybody see it. Back on the road. 
Are you reading? Are those elephants over there? Elephants and giraffes, two giants together here. See that traffic jam? That's because there's a lion on the road. Or next to the road. Everybody's here. I'm to telling check you, it. our dog park. We have been very lucky in the dog park. <laughs> We've seen the buffer. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse. They're just chilling on the road. So two there as well. Six. So there's five right together. No, six together. Six together. There's some draft down there. You probably can't tell. And then there's another one just laying here. Oh, oh this one's great. Oh, this one is like, oh, oh. It's Simba. They got suspicious here when they got close. It's oh, those eyes are beautiful. It's Simba. They're terrifying. It's Simba. <laughs> yeah, I saw those too. There's a whole bunch of drafts. Just a big old cat. <gasps> oh man, his roar. You hear that roar? Uh -huh. <gasps> Sounds like supersonic. <laughs> it's not a cheetah. There's the cheetahs we were looking for. Zebra crossing, but we have seen giraffe crossing. Oh, yeah, they're ducks. Mm. Okay, they're ducks. <laughs> Safari ducks. <laughs> he saved a potato, a fried potato, in her pocket for a snack later. <laughs> You're so smart, baby. <laughs> Are you gonna eat it now? Yeah, okay. You didn't save one. He saved it in her pocket. Yeah, you saved it. You tried to keep her from doing it and she was not. Looks like we have a much better view today, although it's not the best. <laughs> we can see a lot more. It's beautiful. Mom, look what I found. Oh, a match? It's better. Yeah. We saw a lot of zebra coming out of the game park. We saw a lot of baboons, even a wildebeest. So that was good. Rounded out the trip nicely. We're an hour from KK. A lot of people always ask me about safaris, so I will link this company, Bountiful Safaris, down in the description box. If you're looking for a good place, they'll help you find the right place for you. We chose tents. You can pick a resort with just like rooms, like a hotel room. If you don't want the tent experience, although I really recommend the tent experience, they can help hook you up. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been so fun traveling with Luke and Jill and Kenny and Lincoln um, to do this with them. It was really great. <laughs> that corn does look good. I Can love the roasted corn. Roasted corn. Now, maybe not here, but we'll get it sometime. Wait. Yeah, yeah, checking out the view. In her sunglasses. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> So who is Hello. who is the best, Wilson or Paul or Ernest? I say Wilson if is I the best. If I say that though, they're gonna watch this video because I told them about your channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if, if I, I do have an answer to that question. <laughs> Paul's the most experienced. Uh, no, Wilson's been there since the beginning of the company. 2007, he's been driving though. He it might maybe with that company, <laughs> but he's been driving since 2007, which is the most experienced. But Wilson gave us a lot of fun facts. Ernest is the funnest. Oh. <laughs> Okay, they're all good. <laughs> Luca. No, Noel. I'm gonna uh -uh. make all the the old ladies nervous. Don't let Nanya see you. Let <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was the exact thing. 
gonna drop your shoes. <laughs> yeah, no, Noel. Nice. Oh, I actually have I see. He's holding on with his. Guys, this is not even that far of a drop at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Please, Zuka, don't give Nyanya a heart attack. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, say goodbye.